All right, we're <clears throat> excuse me out at the home of um, Richard and Yvonne. Um, we're doing some siding. Uh, we've got Susie out here that's helping me out, helping uh, helping with the video. So you guys, will, they have five dogs, so you'll be running into them during the project. Um, but we we're gonna do this in kind of a, a phased approach. <clears throat> so the first phase is obviously the back. Um, the windows are a couple years old. Champion did them, um, so those are obviously staying, but. Uh, what we're doing here is just the back of the house and a little area over there that extends on an addition. Um, we are doing a full tear off and we are not doing anything above the freeze board. So we're not painting uh, soffit, we're not doing painting of the fascia, uh, fascia overlay, anything like that. It's just the sidewall on this first phase. So it is a full tear off and there are a couple areas. Um, you can see, obviously, like most houses, they put on this horizontal board to hide, you know, cover up any rot because it's just masonite. There's a little uh, rot right here, so we just got to pull that off. Well, the whole siding's coming off anyways. <clears throat> but just make sure we inspect the base plate there to make sure there's no rot or anything. Um, uh, so that'll be a full tear off. And then as we come across here, uh, there's a little outlet right there. Um, some wiring, so we'll have to some Romex, so we'll have to pull that away from the wall and then uh, reattach it. We got a hose bib and I believe one GFI. Oh, yeah, there's a GFI right there. Um, the next place, or probably a little concern, is right under here. Hey, Susie. Hey. Um, there's a little bit of visible rot here, so we're gonna have to make sure again that the base plate isn't jeopardized there. <clears throat> um, they just put these chairs here to keep the dogs from scratching up the windows. There's already been some hardy installed here that you can see just because of the rot. So again, just inspecting the base plate all the way across the bottom is going to be important. <clears throat> this area, we just need to face that. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing to that poor cat? Uh, so this area here. Um, underneath the little stoop beneath the door that will need to be faced with Hardy <clears throat> um, there's already you can see the the two by fours uh, running underneath that we can nail to um, so that needs to be done as part of the project and then we're just wrapping these windows they have like a little molding trim on them uh, as window trim that'll be changed out probably have to use a, a one by two maybe a one by four just singly running in between here but it's gonna have to be probably a one by two over here to accommodate both the door and window trim <clears throat> or maybe even just a one by four that's probably more than one by four i don't know it's gonna have to be close but we'll we'll have to figure out how to trim that out but all the windows and doors will be retrimmed in a hardy material this hardy will all go away of course that hardy will all go away with the full tear off and we'll do the hardy plank siding all the way around we are going back with a eight and a quarter cedar mill select so uh, we're not going back with the vertical. <clears throat> it looks like there's some panel, some hardy panel that's been put on here beneath. Um, so that all needs to go away. And this will all be, the, again, the Colonial, uh, excuse me, the Cedar Mill Select with the 1x4, 1x2, uh, some hardy products around the windows. So that's pretty much what we got. Pretty straightforward project. Um, really look forward to taking great care of them. Um, this is a big project for them, and I know we'll do a great job of treating it as such and, and making sure that they feel the, uh, the, the value that they've, uh, that they've invested here. Um, and as we said, <clears throat> there will be additional phases um, to follow with the, the other sides of the house and then the fascia and soffit. So Richard Yvonne, really appreciate y'all uh, trusting us with the project, and uh, we look forward to doing a great job for you. Thank you.